Everybody, Lucas Hanneman here, and welcome to a, uh, a little mini series on Guitar Tone Tuesday called "The Guitars of Bone Cat." There's a guy from Ottawa named Bill, and he's in a really cool duo called Bone Cat, and uh, I know him very, very well. He's a good friend of mine, and uh, he's graciously, over the course of the next three weeks, lending me a guitar a week to check out for the Guitar Tone Tuesday video series. So I'm very, very grateful for that. And uh, this first one is a bit of an oddball guitar, but a very, very cool, interesting instrument. I've never tried a Reverend before, and i got to say I'm very impressed with this. This is a Reverend Warhawk 390. It's kind of its own thing. we got three soap bar P90 pickups, uh, an offset body style design, a Karina body, a little small pickguard here, volume tone and bass contour. Now the bass contour thing is something that a couple of brands do, notably GNL, uh, ha they have their own version of this, and Reverend. Um, but it's very cool with P90s because three P90s, if you thin them out a little bit, can sound almost very, very stratty, especially because this has a traditional five-way switch here where you can get all of those in between uh, kind of quacky sounds like a Stratocaster. So just to show you a bit about that, I'm going to go through all the pickup selections. Um... That's the neck with the, with the bass contour all the way up. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. It really thins out. Back up. So it really quickly goes between that Gibson-y sound and that Fender-y sound. Um, here's position four. Gonna thin it out a little bit here. cool. Uh, here's the middle pickup. Thinned out. Position two. Thinned out. And finally, the bridge pickup. Thinned out. Now I'm going to turn on some overdrive, courtesy of the Kingsley Minstrel Tube Overdrive pedal. And uh, let's check that out. It's a really, really cool sounding guitar. And the amazing thing is that these are regular 60 cycle <laughs> inducing P90s, but they're very reasonable in terms of the hum factor. They, they really don't hum much. It's really, really cool. So some of the other features are, this is a Karina body guitar. The, the body and the neck are Karina. And the neck is a set neck design, so um, it, uh, there's no bolts here, keeping the neck on the guitar. It's uh, glued in. 
Very, very cool. And the whole guitar doesn't weigh very much. That's something that really caught me, and, and uh, you know, it's very resonant, too. Karina is a wood that's used on all the higher-end or boutique guitars, and uh, the Karina wood on this guitar, I, I think the whole guitar comes in just a shade over seven pounds, maybe max seven and a half pounds, so it's very comfortable to hold with this offset design here. The scale length is 24.75, um, the, the headstock is very cool because it's this kind of res reverse angle headstock, which uh, honestly I don't have very much experience with, but it's very, very nice. Um, kind of a nod to, uh, to me it almost seems like a G&L type thing with this little hump here on the headstock. Um, but it's got the rosewood fingerboard, uh, 22 frets. And uh, that's about it, I'd say. Um, this guitar is a stop tail model, but they do have this with a Bigsby as well. And uh, Bill has done a string over thing here. One, one cool thing about this guitar in particular, I mean, Bill's a real player. And uh, this guitar, he's made his own arm contour here. He said he took a belt sander and made that there, but it's very comfortable, actually. That doesn't come on any of the other guitars of this model, but it's very, very cool. It's got a poly finish, but it doesn't feel like it. It actually feels very nice and, and worn in. I mean, Bill's a real player and he does play this guitar a lot. So it's a very cool guitar made in South Korea. Uh, I want to know in the comment section below this week, have you guys experienced Reverend guitars? Have you guys tried them? I have not myself up until this, this guitar. So I've got to say I'm extremely impressed and it's, it's a unique design and uh, it's really, really fun to play. So I'm going to play you guys out and uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys again next Tuesday. Uh -huh.